Hello, my name is Lars Stormboom. I'm a product manager at Weisola. And today we will talk about how to configure the HMD60. Uh, if you are happy with the uh, factory preset options, for instance, you want to select dew point instead of relative humidity output, this is very easy. There is a dip switch bank here with different parameters, including dew point. And you can just flick the uh, dew point switch like this. And now you have selected the default output for dew point. If you want to uh, have special scalings, then in that case you will need a USB adapter uh, available separately and a PC with the free of charge Vaisala Insight software. What we will do then is you attach the uh, USB cable to the PC and the uh, other end goes into the service port on the HMD60 motherboard like this. And now let's have a look at what you can do in the software. This is what the Weisela Insight software looks like when you start it up. And first you should, as suggested here, attach the USB adapter to a USB port. Next, uh, let's uh, connect the USB service port to the device. Once you do that, the USB adapter will power up the device, so you don't need any separate power supply, and it will start measuring immediately. Now what we want to do is change the uh, default analog outputs, which is uh, relative humidity for the first output and temperature minus 40 to plus 80 degrees centigrade on the temperature output. And we want to have instead dew point and temperature both scaled from minus 20 to plus 40. Let's access this menu here and go to configure device. Okay, there are several menus here, but now we want to change the analog outputs. So let's start with analog output number one. Okay, and here you see now uh, default settings for an HMD62 device. It's 4 to 20 milliamp output, and you can't really change that. It's a low power device. But here is now the uh, output parameter for the first analog output. And by clicking here on the pull down menu, you can see all the different uh, calculated parameters. Now, if there is a, a dip switch selected on the uh, uh, circuit board, this will override the parameter selections you have here. But the uh, scalings from the software will be used in any case. But now there is no dip switch selected on this device. And we want to have a dew point output. Let's select the TD slash F here. The slash F means you're actually getting the frost point for sub-zero temperatures, not the dew point. And that's the default. Okay, and each of the parameters have their own settings here. So let's scroll down a bit. We wanted the TDF and we wanted to, the scale from minus 20 degrees centigrade up to plus 40. Okay, we change the values here. 
and we press save. Okay, now the changes are stored to the device. We wanted also to change the second analog output. Let's do that. Here again are the default settings for temperature, minus 40 to plus 80 degrees centigrade. Note, uh, you can select uh, all of the same parameters here, so you can have even two times relative humidity. But now, in this case, we want it to have temperature, and we wanted it to be from minus 20 to plus 40 centigrade. And again, we will press save. And now it's uh, stored to the device. Close. Okay, this is the startup screen now. And now we are done and you can close the software. Pretty easy, isn't it? If you want to uh, use uh, non-SI units, this uh, requires a little bit more changes. You need actually to go into advanced mode and the device will actually restart now. And what you can do now, go again to settings, Let's see, unit settings, and now you can, uh, for instance, change the uh, temperatures to degrees Fahrenheit, uh, enthalpy to British thermal units per pound, and let's do the other temperature units also. Okay, if you press save now. Uh, you will see that uh, those unit changes are now also visible here. The temperature is now in Fahrenheit and the dew frost point is also, also in Fahrenheit and enthalpy is also in BTUs per pound. And now if you can again change your analog output scalings, now we have uh, uh, degrees Fahrenheit here instead of the centigrades. Now I could go minus uh, 40 to plus uh, 100 Fahrenheit, for instance. Okay, let's say this is how you uh, apply non-SI units. And now we're done.